So we saw the short declaration operator, and we saw how the short declaration operator can be used in a code block between curly braces. But now let's say that we want to have a variable which we have accessible throughout a wider scope. So scope is like the area where a variable lives and exists and can be used and can be accessed. So that's the scope of a variable. We call it the scope of a variable. Right here, the scope of X is from there down. The scope of Y from there down, meaning to right there. The scope of Y is from here down, right? So if I had a statement up here that was trying to access X, it, I wouldn't be able to access X, be able to print it or assign a value to it yet because X doesn't exist yet. And if I had another function down here, func foo, and uh, you know, then come down here and format print line X, like X, the scope of X, X does not exist down here. X only exists from right here to there. And just to prove that, I'm gonna run this. And it's gonna say undefined X on line 17 in the file main.go. And so line 17, it's trying to access X, it can't do it. Uh, I can create scope which is larger than a code block. So right here, this scope is limited to inside of a code block between the curly braces. If I want scope, which is at the package level, I could use the var keyword. And once again, we could confirm that var is a keyword, just making sure that we are precise with our language, with the language we use to talk about the language. Here is the keyword var. So we could use the var keyword and the var keyword is going to allow us to create a variable. So we have X, Y, and I'm gonna create a variable Z and uh, I'm going to just set it equals to 47. I don't know what number. We'll, we'll uh, set it equals to 21. And uh, so var z 21. And down here, I could call z. And I could also call z right here. Because the scope of z is the entire package which means anywhere in the package, I could, I could call and write to, I could assign a value to Z, or I could ask, ask Z to what is the value there and print out the value. So this is gonna run. The scope of Z, right, is this whole package. It's the whole package, the scope of Z. So that's how you use the var uh, keyword to create a variable and use it at the package level scope, right? To give a variable package level scope, you wanna use var and, um, just trying to think what else I want to share about var here, why we're here. So var z equals 21. Um, let me reflect on that for a moment. I will say two more things. So one thing is that this is a good coding practice right here to always use the short declaration operator inside of your code blocks to create and declare a value to a variable. Right, so to create a variable and declare a value to it, use the short declaration operator. You can only use that inside code block. And then if you need package level scope, you're gonna use var. And so that's, that's the way you do it. And I'll have a little bit more to say about that. So the last thing I'm gonna share here is uh, just some terminology. I'm calling these curly braces. These are curlies, right? Those are the little curlies. And these are parentheses. <laughs> these are parentheses right here. So I might refer to these as braces or curlies or curly braces, and I might refer to these as parens or parentheses, but those are the names of those two things. And so just kind of get in your head, you know, hey, these are parens and these are curly braces or curlies, and uh, that's some terminology that's used in programming. All right, so that's scope, and that's using the var keyword to uh, declare a variable and assign a value to it at the package level, to give it package level scope, we use var and then an identifier for the variable's name and then equal sign and assign the value to it. So that's how we, uh, that's how we create a variable at the package level scope and give it a value.